Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. The question is, most of the unemployment in India is structural in nature. So, the first statement of this question itself says that there is the unemployment in India and it is also a structural thing. So, you need to address You need to address what is this structural unemployment. That is the first thing. Next, examine the methodology adapted to compute the unemployment in the country. This is the second part. So, first part, second part is, it says that examine. So, you need to know about what is this examine. And also it says that methodology adapted to compute the unemployment in the country. <clears throat> so, there are various measures and tools to measure the unemployment in the country. So, the question is asking that you have to examine that methodologies. There is a survey released by the NSSO. So, it will be like current weekly status and current yearly status. So, current monthly status. All these things will be there. You have to discuss about this methodology. You have to examine it. Next. Third part is suggest the instrument. Okay. Suggest for certain improvements that there is a so with the question itself means that there is certain issues with this methodology. The question itself convey that there is certain issues in their methodology of measuring the unemployment in the country. That is indirectly the question is meaning it. So what you have to do is you have to find what is the issue with this present day measuring of this unemployment. Next, you have to give the suggestion for it. Before that, the question is also speaking about the structural unemployment. These are the parts of this question and it is asking for 250 words of 15 mark question which will be around 200 pages. 200 pages means one page, two page and another page half. So this is the question that actually means and also they are asking for 250 words of answer and it will be given with the mark of maximum mark of 15. So, these are the things about this question. First, you need to be more clear about what that question is actually asking from you. Without knowing it, don't touch the question. So, what will be the introduction? It's up to you. You think you can go with the, any statistic data of the unemployment in India. This is the one way of introduction. First, okay, statistics. Statistics of unemployment in India. Second, the question itself speaking about the structural thing. So, you can speak about the structural unemployment. This is also can be the introduction. Next. Third, what are the other ways? You can simply say that what is unemployment rate? Okay, so you can simply say that what is unemployment rate, which means how much persons are unemployed divided by the total number of working population of 15 to around 48 or 49 age. This is also one way of introduction you can give or else you can say that the question's major part is about the methodology adapted to compute the unemployment in the country. So, you can say about who are releasing this data, who are connected to this data releasing. That is also you can say, NSSO, you can speak about that also.
so these are the possible way of introduction you may give it's up to you but what is the most precise or else one of the good introduction is as per my point of view is the question itself speak about the most of the unemployment in india is structural in nature so you can best go with what is structural unemployment so this is one of the best way of giving the introduction to the question because it is a 15 mark question and this the first part of that question is you have to address that even though the question is start from the second line the first part is saying certain things you have to address it for that you can speak about what is structural unemployment simple as that you can easily put it that there is a mismatch between the supply and the demand there is the mismatch between the supply of the skill by the people and the demand of the skill demand of skill need by the employment provider or the employer so this is the thing you can easily draw us like this with the caesar this is the way you can say it there is a mismatch between the supply and demand of the skill of the labor this is the one way of good introduction you can give there is a mismatch between the supply provided by the employment needy and also the employment provider needy skills so this is the simple way of giving the uh, introduction to the question this is the one way of giving the introduction and then next thing is you need to address about the most of the unemployment in a, is structural in nature so why this structural unemployment is the major thing that you have to address why we need to address this issue that is also you need to address because even though there is a no question specifically they are asking about that you need to give certain points because india's most of the unemployment is due to this structural thing which means why it it is be and why we need to address it so either way you can give a answer there are certain points i listed it you can use it so first thing is if there is a structural issue means why it is happening that you need to say there is a faster growth of technology the reason is the, there is a new thing called as quantum computing and also there is a growth of ai okay and then there is the automation of laboring okay automation of machines is happening and also robotics is growing so everything the technology wise there is a huge growth but the people of india we, they are not able to adapt to this technology or they are not able to learn the skills okay so there is a the, the reason for the skill mismatch is there is a faster pace of growth okay so that is the first reason we have a large structural unemployment in india next thing is lack of skill based education seriously it is one of the major issue still we are in the rot ravani that is the major issue that need that is to be addressed now we are adopting the national education policy that have a certain things that is, that is going to address this issues of unskilled education system next low investment in the r&d that is also the one of the major reason for the structural unemployment happening in india people or the employer are not ready to invest in their research about the new things that is going to evolve or else people itself not even to ready to do any research in their field to learn the new skills they will try to be stagnant in that position that is the major thing that is also a psychological part also next there is a huge growth or the dominance of the informal sector so in one side there is a huge growth in the uh, skills like there is a huge growth in the ai automation quantum computing that is growing but still in the another side there is a huge growth or the dominance of the informal sector they are not even connected to it so that is the another issue for this structural unemployment in india and the most important thing is we have a outdated economic policy we are not adapted to the new skill evolved what we are actually doing is we will do certain schemes related to that but we don't have any holistic economic policy to address these issues 
so these are the things that leads to the major structural unemployment in india so this is the thing you need to address before you are going to the question okay so for this what is this introduction it will be around two lines afterwards uh, around or one third of the page should be you should cover about these things next you have to directly jump into the question before that why this question is asked means it is in the news how unemployment is measured it is asked this article was in the news in september 8 2023 which means after a prelims and before the mains there was a article they used this article to make a question this is how the mains question will be made so if you are going to give a mains means please please be more conscious about the all the articles that are in the newspaper this article is from the hindu you also try to just go to any other newspaper also like indian express and economic times because consider that if you are learning a thousand pages of articles and you are going to answer one question or else you are going to read a only few 50 or 60 articles and you are going to answer 10 question that is the most important thing you have to do so it's better to go with the articles it is actually from the article from that article only they made this question please try to learn certain articles even it is from the hindu or indian express please do that and also that uh, that article will provide you all the data i am going to list down the points all the from this article only this article give the extensive data related to that question and also it gave the suggestions also so this is the way you can easily get through the mains and also it will give the extra marks and it will be provide you the with the best rank also so that are the most important things you have to do so next is about the question is about the exam in the methodology adapted to compute the unemployment in the country <clears throat> so you can say about whatever things nsso released data okay and then also even the census also they have certain data so there are lot of unemployment data provided by n number of ministries and departments it's up to you you can list anything you have to list any two to three things about the computing what are the reports that are actually indian country is providing first of all you have to give that i am just listed about the usual principal status and the current weekly status you can speak about anything after that you have to speak about what are the issues with this methodology of computing the unemployment that is the important part this part is not that much important but if you are going to address any question means you have to give certain intro for that thing so only i am saying that just give certain reports or that or, or else you can speak about what are the ministries that are going to give this unemployment data so such a way you can say it ministry of statistic you can speak about that thing also afterwards what are the issues that is the important thing that you have you have to address in the extensive way here first the issue is informal sector challenges the present day we are measuring the in uh, unemployment in this country is only from the formal sectors which means who are employed in the it background who are employed in the government sectors that is the thing only you are measuring based on which only you are measuring about whether there is any frictional unemployment whether there is a cyclical unemployment or not the all the things you are measuring is from that data only but there is a huge chunk of people rest in the informal sector around 50 percentage of the people rest in the informal sector you are not even have a single data about them that is the major concern without having a data about them how you are going to make a policies or act that is going to help them and how you are going to improve the gdp of the india why we are measuring all this thing is you are going to provide a employment opportunity for all the people and by the way you are going to increase the economy of the india but without a data how you can do that that is the major concern next self reported data in census it is a purely self reported data they will ask about whether you are employed or not 
you are saying yes means they will ask where you are working private or it's a government so that is also it's up to you so it is a self reported data so there is a major error is happening there and also in most of the data even in the nsso survey it is also a self reported work so it is a, there is a large possibility for the error and misconception next focus on the headline number it is only measuring about how much people are employed and unemployed that is the thing only it is focusing whether they are employed in a good manner whether there is a possibility for any sick claim any insurance facility for them that are the things are not measuring in this data that is the another major thing next is dual reference point best example is this thing so it will measure the 365 data also it will measure the weekly data also and it will measure the daily data also so this is the another major concern so there is a dual data means how you will evaluate and how you will go for a policies or how you will go for a act that is the another major concern so the importance of collecting this data is to make a policies and also provide the best for the people and to create a welfare society but without a data how you can do that or else with the uh, misinterpreted data how you can make any policy for them this is the another major concern so only the question is all about this thing only the question is all about first of all you need to know why they are asking this question so this question is all about there is a large gap in the economic policy related to the employment after 1991 there is a not a good policy holistic policy so how you can address is by only knowing the data when you come to measuring the data there is a large flaw in the measuring of this data so only this is this question is they are asking so the suggestions so there is a two way of giving the suggestions here are list of issues you can just give the suggestion to it that is the one way that is the better way other than that you can add more points what are my suggestions is collaboration with the industries to measure the unemployment rate and also create certain uh, big data things there are the growth of big data analytics with them with that you can easily measure it. how much of people are employed and unemployed based on the spending rate also you can measure it so there are various other methods of measuring the unemployment in the society next yeah this is the major thing you are going for a census data if you are collecting the data means try to motivate their people to speak the truth that is one way of a technique you can follow that skill is not in that uh, surveyor of that census data that is the major concern you have to educate them next skill based questions whether this person is having the skill or not what are the skills you are having in the in the measuring of the census data or else, or else in the nssso you have to measure measure about the skills of that person also that is also the most important thing we we need to add it in the upcoming survey methods and the last is real time labor data so that is also you can easily create by interaction with the private companies and the any public sector companies you can create the data okay so these are the things you need to address in this question okay so in my point of view if you are good with learning the newspaper means you can easily predict the question if you are easy to predict the question means you you have a valuable data with you with that you can easily address the main question okay thank you Thank you.